Uh, good afternoon to all members of the Global Forum. Thank you for the opportunity of being able to present some FATF material to you today. Please accept my apologies that I'm not able to be there in person. Uh, that's due to very pressing FATF other business uh, this week. I would have liked to have been present and I think that as we go forward in our collaboration, the FATF will look forward to close cooperation with you. I think that most of you have uh, an understanding of what the FATF is, but I will run through a few issues to make sure that there is a clarity as to our function, and then in particular uh, concentrate on beneficial ownership issues. As you know, we probably uh, are all aware that there are 36 members of the FATF. Uh, they comprise uh, uh, the larger and uh, large GDPs of the world, and they cover uh, almost all the large-scale uh, financial sectors around the globe. But in addition to those uh, uh, 34 countries and two organizations who are members of the FATF uh, central body, we have eight regional bodies. And in total, that global network of FATF and its regional bodies account for 190 or so countries, all of whom apply the same standards that the FATF has set. In terms of uh, our fundamental reason for existence, uh, that is the setting of standards in relation to money laundering, terrorist financing, and the, ter and the financing of uh, the uh, weapons of mass destruction. A fundamental component of the FATF, FATF recommendations is that countries must take measures to prevent the misuse of legal persons and legal arrangements, such as trusts, for money laundering or terrorist financing purposes. Now, those kinds of legal arrangements uh, and trusts can be misused for other crimes as well, including fraud or tax evasion. And we know that because uh, we have done a number of studies in the OECD and in the FATF and also uh, in the World Bank, which shows that these kinds of uh, vehicles can be and in fact are misused for various criminal purposes and tax evasion purposes. And as a consequence, uh, we've had to look very closely at uh, how we trace the, travel, the, the money that travels uh, through those entities. We recently revised the FATF recommendations. Uh, one of the major objectives of that revision was to improve the transparency of corporate vehicles. Another change uh, of relevance to this discussion uh, was the inclusion of tax crimes as predicate offences for money laundering. In this sense, the term tax crimes refers to a very broad range of offences related to direct taxes, indirect taxes, customs duties and excise duties and taxes. The FATF recommendations set out the detailed requirements for countries to ensure transparency of legal persons and legal arrangements. There are several important elements to this process. The first part of the FATF requirements is uh, for legal persons uh, uh, including companies, that countries must ensure that sound and up-to-date basic information on legal ownership is available on the corporate registry, if one exists, uh, or that it be held by companies themselves and be accessible. <coughs> Excuse me. The fundamental requirement is that uh, countries should ensure that there is adequate, accurate and timely information available on the ultimate beneficial ownership of all legal persons and arrangements and that the country's authorities can access this information where relevant and legally obtainable. There is then some flexibility about the practical steps that could be taken by countries to ensure that this beneficial ownership information is in fact available. One way is to require either the corporate registry where one exists or the companies themselves to obtain and hold beneficial ownership information. The alternative is to use information held by financial institutions and other authorities including tax authorities, to identify the beneficial owner. It is likely that countries will use a combination of these measures in order to achieve the fundamental requirement. According to the FATF uh, standards, countries must also take specific measures to restrict the use of other mechanisms that are most frequently used to disguise ownership, such as bearer shares and nominee directors. For legal arrangements, such as trusts, countries should prevent their misuse by placing obligations on trustees to have all this information 
and also by ensuring beneficial providers as well as other authorities that hold trust information, such as tax authorities, to make it available when necessary. One of the biggest problems in this area uh, is the difficulty of tracing beneficial owners across different jurisdictions. Uh, <clears throat> and there are some jurisdictions with a very poor record in this area. International cooperation is an essential element to overcoming barriers with the investigation of corporate vehicles. So the FATF recommendations include specific requirements for countries to enhance international cooperation on beneficial ownership, including a requirement to use their investigative powers to identify beneficial owners on behalf of a foreign counterpart. It is important to keep in mind that the scope of the FATF's international cooperation, and as a result the agencies involved in it, is much broader than what the Global Forum is looking at, but I believe it is also very relevant to the types of things that the Global Forum is, is looking at. Under the FATF standards, countries should place customer due diligence obligations on financial institutions and designated non-financial businesses and professions, including trust and company service providers. As part of their customer due diligence, these organisations should be required to identify the beneficial owner and take reasonable measures to verify them. We are aware that uh, several Global Forum members current rely, currently rely on preventive AML CFT measures based on the FATF standards, including beneficial ownership to comply with the Global Forum's standards. An important aspect of the FATF recommendations is that they include a definition of the beneficial owner. The beneficial owner, in FATF terminology, is the natural person who ultimately owns or controls a legal person or arrangement. This definition extends beyond simple legal ownership. Rather, we have uh, to look at the person behind the entity that is exercising control, and it is important to remember that the beneficial owner is always a natural person. We hope the FATF, the Global Forum and other international standard setters in this area can use a consistent definition of beneficial ownership so that countries can focus on practical implement implementation and not on different definitions which may cause confusion. The revised FATF uh, recommendations are not the end of the story, however. We recognise that there are significant challenges to the implementation of beneficial ownership requirements. To this end, we are developing guidance to assist countries to implement the FATF recommendations on beneficial ownership. We are at an early stage of this process, but we do expect to complete it in 2014. We are also working with other international bodies, uh, including the peak bodies, the G20 and the G8, who have a long-standing interest in this is issue. For example, the G8 leaders recently endorsed uh, core principles consistent with the FATF standards, which are fundamental to the transparency of ownership and control of companies and legal arrangements. The G8 has also committed to leading by example in their implementation of the FATF recommendations and have published action plans based on those principles. There is a long-standing G20 interest in beneficial ownership and several summit and ministerial declarations have supported further work in this area. We have been working with the OECD Global Forum and the World Bank within the context of the G20 anti-corruption work on this issue, but also now in a more general way and in particular with the Global Forum Secretariat at the OECD. From our perspective, it is very important that we continue to work together on this issue. We are all seeking the same goal, I think to ensure transparency and to stop the misuse of corporate vehicles for criminal purposes, including tax evasion. We, we have also the same stakeholders, as I understand all Global Forum members have committed to implementing the FATF standards. Therefore, by working together, we can ensure consistency in the international standards and share experiences and insights. This will help countries to overcome the significant challenges that exist by taking a comprehensive approach to improving transparency. We look forward to uh, further cooperation with the Global Forum on this issue, and I would like to thank you for your attention uh, today and to wish you well in your deliberations.